I'm taking a look at this old FM transmitter kit from Ramsey. This is something that I built probably over 20 years ago and I've had uh, hanging around, I've used it on and off, but haven't used it in a while. Uh, I recently saw a video from Radio Dog where he had some sort of FM transmitter that he was using to uh, rebroadcast um, streaming audio from his phone uh, throughout the uh, the house and he was able to listen to that on his uh, his radios so I thought it might be fun to uh, pull this thing out and give it a try and figured I'd turn the camera on while I was uh, messing around here. So this kit primarily consisted of just this circuit board here and uh, nothing more than that. This case that this is in is actually an old CD case that you use in your car I guess uh, that I had kicking around and I wasn't using anymore and I just drilled a few holes in it to uh, accept the uh, the circuit board here and some inputs on the back and some outputs on the back. So you can see here, I'll try and bring this a little bit closer, you can see that there's an on off switch here and uh, you know the basic circuitry, a battery, uh, there's a provision for an internal or not an internal but a a whip antenna as you can see here there's just a, a stud in the circuit board there that this screws onto and I usually use it with this although there is an external jack that you can connect an external antenna to however um, this thing is governed by some FCC rules I'm not exactly sure which rules at the moment I think it's part 15 I'll have to go back and look that up but I think the rules state for something like this you really can't have a long antenna and you can't put out more than a few milliwatts and this antenna that I have on here may even technically be a violation of that uh, regulation I'm not sure but definitely an external antenna on something like this is a violation um, so I'm not even sure why they put this this on here but it's here um, there's an input jack for external 9 volt power and then there is the audio input left and right uh, there are controls to balance the audio input. This is a stereo transmitter, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, and then this coil right here can be tuned to change the uh, frequency that this thing broadcasts on so that you're not overlapping a strong station. And that's pretty much the basics here. That's, that's pretty much it. Here's just a quick look at what this thing looks like when it's closed up. You can see it looks just like a an old CD case with an antenna on it and then of course on the back I have some holes drilled for the uh, the inputs and the outputs and I've even got some feet on there I'm not sure if this is showing up well in the camera or not but you can see I've even got some old rubber feet screwed in there and those are the same studs that hold the circuit board on inside for this demonstration I've got my smartphone connected to the transmitter here uh, with an audio cable that's got a 3.5 millimeter plug on this end and RCA plugs on the other end that connect to the inputs on the transmitter here. And I've got the smartphone uh, set to tune in radio and I'm just streaming a local AM broadcast station uh, WTIC out of uh, Hartford. So now I'll uh, flip this radio on that I have back here and this is set to FM right now and I'm not sure if it's coming through in the audio or not but I've got it tuned sort of between stations and the only thing you can hear right now pretty much is static. So now if I turn on the transmitter I should start to hear the, uh, the audio streaming from the smartphone into the radio. Work. Don't become a victim. Be skeptical of offers that are too good to be true. Never allow anyone to force you to sign something and never give personal information to people you don't know. So everything seems to be uh, working properly as it should right there. Um, of course the radio is only a foot away from the transmitter here but right now the transmitter is set to transmit somewhere around uh, 104 FM. Uh, but there's some local stations uh, kind of in that area. So I've done a little bit of preliminary uh, listening here and I found that for the time being um, 103.5 seems to be a clear frequency. Um, I'd rather uh, go to the lower end of the FM band somewhere down around 
you know, 87 or 88. Um, down there in this area anyway is where all the college stations are, the lower power stations, and there's some gaps in the, um, in the band plan down there. But I don't think this transmitter can go that low unless I change a resistor or a capacitor or something in here. Uh, I'd have to go and look that up and, and then do that work, uh, which is fine. But for right now, for this basic test, I think I'm just going to tune this thing uh, to that 103.5 for now and see how it works. And uh, if I'm getting some interference uh, you know, out in the yard or whatever, then uh, I'll look into um, doing what I need to do to move this thing down to the lower end of the broadcast band. I'm going to use this Texan radio here as my kind of frequency reference since it's a, a digital readout PLL type uh, radio I'll be able to get pretty close to the 103.5 and uh, the reason that I want to try and get as close to this as I can is that I may want to listen using my um, the radios in my car and truck and of course those are calibrated only in uh, odd increments uh, you can't tune in between like you can on these portable radios. Um, so I'm going to try and get it centered on this as best I can. In order to tune the frequency, you can see I've got this tuning uh, stick in the slug of this coil here. And it should be just a matter of just turning this slightly to get the frequency that I want. Now I've got the, I'll turn the volume up a bit on that. And once I get it close, you should be able to hear um, the station kind of come in on this radio. Regular season Friday, that appears to be a regular season here at the You can't beat Southern Connecticut 9475. From stores, Joe Napoleon, WTIC Sports. And we'll have UConn uh, women's pregame action this afternoon, beginning at 12.30 here on WTIC News Talk 10 as they wrap up their preseason schedule. So that seems like it's pretty well tuned onto 103.5 now. I'm going to flip this radio on and just see if I hear it on here. 3 win over the New York Islanders. Elsewhere is Victor Hedman and Nikita Kucherov. And both. So I'm out here in my truck, and you can see I've got the radio tuned to 103.5. We can help your credit score no matter how bad it is. And if Call I turn the volume up, you can hear, uh, I'm receiving my transmitter here. GetBench.com, promo code SLEEP. WTIC News Time 917 lottery numbers drawn last night in Connecticut. The play three, five, zero, nine. Play four, five, two, one, two. Okay, so not bad. It's, uh, it's receiving it just fine. There's a tiny bit of white noise that's kind of coming in there, and I'm not sure if that's just because um, I'm at a point where the signal is a little bit weak or if I've got to try and center the frequency a little bit. Now for another test. I'm out here in the side yard. I've got this Panasonic portable radio set up. And if I turn this on... He has no idea exactly where he is or where he is going until a man dressed in a tuxedo approaches him and asks, smoking or non-smoking? There are passages in the Old Testament which reflect Israel's consciousness that God possesses unlimited power and therefore he is able not only to send people down into the netherworld, that is, to die, so as you could hear there, there was a tiny bit of fading on the signal, and I was able to kind of tune the radio and bring it back in. I think that um, maybe partially, like I said, the transmitter might drift around a little bit. Um, but also, I'm about 100 feet from the house now at this point, over here in the backyard. And um, we may be on the, the fringe of where the, the signal strength is starting to kind of drop off a bit. And there is another station at 103.7. It's not all that close to here but it's strong enough to you know receive on a portable radio in the yard so there could have been some some bleed over from that as well starting to kind of get through okay. now I'm about 200 feet from the house with the same radio I'm kind of in the woods you can kind of see the house over there and if I flip this thing on smiling you wear your trouble well well you can't reach my age and not have troubles she said only it's like Jesus and Good Friday. You see, when Jesus was crucified on Good Friday, that was the worst day for the world. 
So it still sounds pretty good, even this far from the house. Um, so now maybe I'll even go back a little bit further and see what I can hear. So now I'm about 300, maybe 350 feet from the house. You know, if I flip the radio on... You can hear there that uh, the station is still kind of coming in, but it's it's down in the noise now. So this is actually working a little bit better than uh, than I kind of anticipated. It seems like I'll be able to use this just in this configuration uh, pretty much right around the yard. And in fact, if I bring the uh, the transmitter upstairs, probably uh, I'll even get more range because down here in the cellar, I'm sure the signal gets attenuated a bit. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.